Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or a big welcome if you're new here. My name's Jenny and I mainly make lifestyle content on this channel which pretty much means I make videos about everything and anything. Some of the topics that I cover are things like disability, chronic illness, mental health, a bit of Disney, beauty, fashion, a bit of travel when we can do that kind of thing. So hopefully there'll be something on this channel that you'll enjoy and I hope you'll stick around to watch this video. So in today's video I wanted to show you some of the things I got for Christmas. I know this is rather late um, and that we're now in February but I've just had other things to do and other videos to put out so I hope you don't mind and I hope you still enjoy watching it. Um, I know these kind of videos aren't for everybody so please don't feel that you have to watch if it's not for you. Um, I do this kind of disclosure on most of the kind of videos I do like this um, and just say that you know this isn't a kind of trying to brag video or anything. I really enjoy watching videos like this because it gives me ideas for presents that I could give other people or for things that I might want to save up for for myself. Um, so I hope that it will be to some people's taste as well. Um, I've just kind of picked presents randomly. I was very spoiled at Christmas by friends and family. Um, so I haven't got everything here because the video would just be too long. Um, and also I don't want to miss anything so I thought it would be better if I just picked a selection um, so yeah don't feel like if you sent me a present and it's not in this video it's because I didn't like it um, I have just tried to pick a kind of random selection of different things um, so yeah for anybody that sent me a present or a card or a message at Christmas um, I just want to say thank you because it was really kind of you and it made my Christmas made me smile um, feels a bit weird saying this now but I hope you had as good a Christmas as possible with everything that was going on um, and that you were able to celebrate it in some way even though we couldn't necessarily be together um, but yeah let's get on with showing you some of my lovely presents. So I'm going to start with like my I guess main present from my parents um, and I don't know if I've shown these in my vlogs but I've definitely shown them on my Instagram um, I'm not sure if I'll have put a vlog out yet by the time this goes up um, but yeah they got me some ooh, there's not enough space here some smart crutches um, very kindly said that they would get these for me for Christmas <laughs> and you know you're disabled when you get excited about getting a mobility aid for Christmas um, so basically I have been on crutches now for just over a year before that I used to use a walking stick and I had a couple of different walking sticks with like funky patterns on and nice colours um, but when I had surgery to my leg I needed to go onto crutches and so I went on to just NHS crutches that I was given when I had my surgery. Um, like nothing against the NHS or anything, they've been brilliant and I would have been yeah, unable to walk without those crutches but NHS mobility aids aren't massively attractive or exciting or fun they just kind of are there to do the job um, and you know when you've been when you're disabled and you have to use mobility aids that's kind of long term I think you just want to have something that feels a little bit more like you that feels a little bit more fun um, and I'd heard so many amazing reports about the smart crutches for people with EDS which is what I've got um, and I'd kind of been looking at them before my surgery anyway because I was planning on moving on to two crutches rather than a stick um, because I was finding walking with one stick was doing damage to my wrist um, and then when I actually had the surgery um, for a while I just I couldn't even contemplate changing things because I was struggling too much um, but now that it's been quite a long time um, and I just wanted something that was a bit more comfortable but also a bit more fun so yeah we looked into smart crutches and you can choose different colours for this bit so I went for pink because it's my favourite colour um, I will probably do like a proper like review video on them so I don't want to go into them too much but basically they are really comfortable they are fully adjustable so um, at the moment I've got them in a sort of gutter crutch um, formation, I don't know if that's the word you'd use, but you can also use them as like standard crutches so this bit will tilt all the way down, you can adjust the height, um, there's like different things that you can buy to add on to them to make them more comfortable or to use them for slightly different uses. Um, and yeah, I just love them. I've only had them a couple of weeks, but um, 
they were really easy to order, they came very quickly. I think it doesn't help, like, it made it easier that the, um, like, headquarters for them for the UK are not that far from us. So I don't know what delivery times are like kind of across the rest of the UK, but we got them within a couple of days of ordering them and they were really, really easy to kind of, I was going to say put together, you didn't need to put them together, but to, like, adjust to make them what I needed. And yeah I just love them the only thing I will say is that in I think the US um, you can get a lot more um, choice for like what colors and designs you want on this bit so you can in the US get ones that have like zebra stripes on which I really really liked because of being a medical zebra um, but in the UK you can only seem to get the like standard block colors but I still love the pink and you know maybe one day if they bring different designs out to the UK I'll get myself a second pair um, but yeah really really love them and they are just making using crutches so much nicer because they're so much more comfortable than my other ones and I'm hoping if I ever start going out again hopefully at some point um, that these will get like some nice comments because when I used to use my um, like funky walking sticks I'd always get comments on like how cool my walking stick was and it was so much nicer than getting comments about just being disabled so yeah it'll be interesting to see what comments these get but yeah really love these so so grateful to my mum and dad for buying them for me um and they're just yeah they're gonna be a lifesaver and also make me very happy Next up is a gift from my mum and it is a pair of Disney bedroom boots. Um, I think people call these different things and I always call them bedroom boots and people are always like, oh, I've never heard them called that before, but I don't know, that's just what I call them, but they're like slipper boots basically. Um, these are pretty much what I live in, um, our bedroom boots, because they just keep your feet nice and warm. Um, and yeah, my mum saw these and she got them for me, but also for my two sisters. So they're kind of red. They are kind of Christmassy, I suppose, but it doesn't bother me. I would happily wear them all year round. Um, they've got sort of like this knitted pattern around the top. I think they do actually have Christmas trees on them. Yeah. Um, and then they're like soft and sort of fleecy inside. Um, they've got pom-poms, which I have to be careful with with the cat because he likes to try and catch the pom-poms. Then they've got an embroidered Mickey on the back of them as well. And then on the front here, it says Minnie Mouse and it's got Minnie Mouse embroidered with some hearts and snowflakes and stuff. And yeah, I'm just really looking forward to wearing them because, well, I've already got one pair that I wear at the moment that are just grey. Um, they've got sort of sparkly bits in them. So I now have two pairs of bedroom boots so I can switch depending on what I fancy on that day. So I've got a few other bits from my mum, um, which I'll do all of them first. She was very naughty this year and just completely spoiled me, bless her. Um, so another thing that she kindly gave me is a face mask, um, well an eye mask, not a mask to go across your face. Um, and it is a Percy Pig eye mask, which I just love. I mean, if you watch my vlogs, you'll probably know that I am a bit obsessed with Percy Pig. I do love him. and. Um, I often wear eye masks when, if I'm like, I have reflexology. I'm not having it at the moment because of the lockdowns, but when I have my reflex reflexology sessions, um, I will often wear an eye mask. Um, so I'm, I've got a little collection now, and it's nice to have them. But also, if I have got a headache or something like that, I like to put an eye mask on to keep the light out. Um, or if I'm sleeping and it's daylight, I might put one of them on. Although I'm quite good at sleeping any time um, so I don't necessarily need an eye mask to sleep in the day um, but they're quite nice to have if you just want to block out the light if you're kind of because I find that I can be quite light sensitive sometimes so they're quite nice to have as well and yeah who doesn't want a Percy Pig eye mask next up my mum also gave me a thing from The Ordinary which is a skincare company that I have been wanting to try for ages I've heard so many people talk about it and say how good it is um, and they're generally quite like inexpensive products and I've heard people say that they're really good for the price that they are. So I did a little bit of research and this is the one that I asked for. Um, so it's the Caffeine Solution 5% plus EGCG. It says it reduces the appearance of eye contour, pigmentation and 
of puffiness. Um, but when I read like the reviews, people said it was really good for dark circles, which is something that I have struggled with for years. Um, I don't know whether it's related to like my chronic illnesses or whether it's just a genetic thing or a bit of both but yeah a lot of people have said that this had been really good for them so I thought I'd give it a try I've never tried anything from the ordinary before um like I said but I've heard really good things about it um I really like the bottles they're very simple um and I think you just put a very small amount on people said that this lasted them ages um because you don't need to put like a huge amount on so yeah, I'm going to give it a try and hopefully at some point I'll be able to let you know what I think of it, if it's been any good for me um, and whether there's some other things that I might try from the same range. Next up is another beauty thing from my mum and it is by Charlotte Tilbury. Um, it is the Glowgasm Lips Glow Enhancing pH Powered Hydrating Glass Balm. That's a bit of a mouthful. Um, the packaging is like kind of pearlescent it's really pretty um and then I saw this I saw this online and I'm just I'm a sucker for anything like sparkly or pretty um so it comes in a nice sort of packaging like this I'll do some close-ups so you can see properly um and the thing that really got me um wanting it is the fact that it's just really really sparkly so it's like a clear lipstick but it's got glitter sort of all the way through it um, and basically it's like pH activated so you put it on your lips and depending on what like the pH of your skin is it will come out as a different colour for different people um, so yeah I was just really intrigued by it and I thought it looked pretty as well um, so yeah I'm interested to see what colour it comes out as on me I haven't actually tried it yet because I wanted to film it first um, but yeah I just I just thought I'd give it a try and see what it's like I don't wear like a huge amount of lipstick at the moment I just one I'm not going out anywhere and two doing my makeup I find takes up a lot of my energy um, but I thought that this looked quite subtle so it would be quite easy to put on and not have to kind of be made up with the rest of your face um, so yeah I'm really really intrigued to try it again I'll let you know how I get on um, but yeah I could just sit here for hours looking at it because it's just so pretty <laughs> And then my mum also kindly gave me a couple of Pandora beads um, and the first one, if I can get the box open, um, is Gus Gus from Cinderella. I will do close-ups of these because there's no way you're going to be able to see them. Um, but basically he is the little mouse from Cinderella. I'm sure most people know who he is if you've watched Cinderella. Um, he's the one with the little green hat. So it's a dangling charm and he's got a little green hat on and then he's just gus gus with his big ears and i just thought he was really really cute um so yeah i shall be adding him to my pandora bracelet i every pandora bead that i get i write down um i've got like a little bit of paper that i keep with the bracelet and i write down when i got it and what the occasion was and i just think it's a really nice way of like having something where you can be like oh yeah that bead was from um, I don't know, my 21st birthday or I got that bead when I lost my gran and things like that um, and it's just, it's a nice way to sort of remember different occasions and events um, and yeah, I will be adding Gus Gus to that so that was the first one and then the second one that she kindly gave me is a Minnie Mouse charm can you see a theme here of Disney? Um, oh if it's falling over oh my goodness um yeah so the second one that she gave me was a Minnie Mouse one um and this one is not a dangly one this time um it's kind of I don't know it's got like a little body and then a big head um and yeah she's just looks like Minnie Mouse basically there's not a huge amount to say about her but basically the um bracelet kind of goes through the middle of her head poor thing um but yeah she's just got a little red dress on with polka dots on it and then like a big head they've got quite a few that are kind of a similar style like this of different characters but I thought Minnie was really sweet and yeah I will be adding her as well next to my Gus Gus so the next thing that I received was from my brother David, sister-in-law Emma and my niece Maisie and they gave me a couple of DVDs so I think they've been looking at my like Amazon wish list with all the different DVDs on it um, so they gave me Military Wives and also Last Christmas um, I haven't seen either of these so I will definitely be 
enjoying watching them during lockdown. Um, I've heard good things about both of them. Um, I think this one my mum would like to watch with me because I think she really likes the Military Wives Choir and everything. Um, and I don't know, maybe I'll have to save this one till next Christmas or maybe I'll just watch it now um, because, you know, the world is just completely upside down so does it really matter if you watch a Christmas film in February? <laughs> My next present is something that I have been eyeing up for quite a while. Um, I have been carrying a water bottle around with me for years. Ever since I was diagnosed with POTS, um, I got myself a water bottle to carry with me because basically with POTS you're meant to try and drink quite a lot of water to keep your blood volume up. Um, and so I've had my water bottle for quite a while and have been looking at new ones. And my sister Rosie very kindly bought me a new one which is a chilli water bottle. Um, and as I said, these are ones that I have been looking at for quite a long time and yeah, it's something that I've always wanted really. So they look like this, you can get them in so many different colours, like different combinations of colours. Um, they've got, you can get ones with different patterns on them, different sizes, there's literally so many to choose from and it's basically um, a water bottle so that you it keeps if it's got a cold drink in it it keeps it cold but if you put something hot in it it keeps it hot I can't remember what like the hours are I think it's like 12 hours for hot 24 hours for cold something like that um, so yeah that's really good but also I just like the like designs and stuff of them so she went for like the pastel pink because she knows me very well um, and yeah, as I said, you can you can customise it as much as you want really. So you can customise like the colour of the lid. Um, you can have different like colour here to have uh, like to what you have at the bottom. There's so many to choose from, but I'm really happy with this one. The only thing I will say that's going to be slightly tricky is my current water bottle has like a. Um, I'll show you. It's got like a handle bit on it so that I can like hang it on my crutches or whatever when I'm walking around to make it easier to carry um, whereas this one doesn't so I'm going to have to work out another way to carry this um, but yeah very much looking forward to having a new one um, it says that they're leak proof BPA free oh yeah 24 hours cold 12 hours hot um, don't think they say anything else and this one is the blush edition and it holds 500 mils and yeah very much looking forward to using it. So the next few presents are from friends and a couple of my friends were very crafty and have made like handmade gifts for me which I thought was lovely. So my friend Lizzie, she made this little tree decoration which I think is really really pretty. It's got little beads on it for like the decorations on the tree and I think it's just going to look really nice hung up on like one of our Christmas trees next year. So yeah, very clever. I wish I was clever enough to do stuff like this. So she gave me that and then she also gave me some seeds to plant, which I think is such a lovely thing to give to somebody. I love the garden. I love flowers and I've always wanted, well, I say I've always wanted to grow my own seeds. I have done it a few times, but I want to kind of get into a little get into it a little bit more. So she sent me some, I think it's Sorinth seeds. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, and she says, scatter in sunny dryish area now for flowers in early spring, so I need to get scattering. Um, and she says that bees love it. So I am going to scatter them in the garden somewhere and hopefully at some point during the spring we'll get some nice flowers. I just thought that was such a lovely thing to give. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's quite personal and thoughtful. She did give me a couple of other things as well, but I thought I'd just show you these two from her. And then my friend Sarah um, gave me some more little uh, Christmas trees that she had made. So they've got different colours on each side. So we've got the red and the green one, and she's even like embroidered little sort of stars on them to look like decorations. And then this one is green and then light green and then there's a brown and dark green one as well and I just think handmade decorations are such a lovely thing to receive because you know that someone has kind of put their time and effort and love into making them and thinking up what they're going to make that you know you've got all these different decorations on the tree that are from different people which I just think is nice and they're you know they're, they're unique as well so yeah really love those two presents. So next are a couple of presents from my friend Lydia. Um, Lydia is somebody that I met through when I was in hospital actually and we've been friends ever since and we share a love of Disney um, 
so she went for some Disney presents for me which was really kind of her so she gave me this really cute chip hanging decoration um, he's all like sparkly on his handle and around the rim of the cup and everything and I just love it it's really cute so that will be going on my Disney Christmas tree next year and then she also gave me a Christmas Mickey Mouse glass which I thought was really sweet I think it's from oh, I don't know actually I don't know if they say on it where are they from not sure anyway <laughs> she gave me a Christmas Mickey Mouse glass which I'm very much looking forward to using next year when Christmas comes around again and then also a matching bowl which again is very cute and I think you can never have enough like Disney like homeware and especially Christmas Disney homeware um, so yeah really really looking forward to using those and also to using the um, <laughs> um, also to using the little chip decoration that she gave me as well and then a couple of my friends obviously had the same sort of thinking about stuff that I like and they both sent me some wax melts um, which I haven't used a huge amount before. I burn candles a lot um, and I do have a few wax melts but I tend to usually just burn candles because that's pretty much what I've got. Um, so I'm really looking forward to doing some wax melts and seeing what those are like compared to candles. So my friend Hannah sent me this little box full of little heart shaped ones which are really sweet so it's from Wharton Wicks um, and it is the autumn winter collection handmade in Lancashire with love um, and so we've got various scents so there's the pink ones up here they're toasted marshmallow then we've got amber noir uh, mulled wine crimson cranberry candy cane angel which i think is possibly like the angel fragrance pumpkin spice and cozy cashmere they're really pretty and i i don't know they're almost too pretty to like melt but i'm really looking forward to melting them and seeing what they smell like um so yeah thank you for hannah to hannah for those and then another of my friends charlie um also sent me some wax melts and also a wax melt burner which I'm very appreciative of because now I have a burner that I can use to do my wax melts on so the ones that Charlie sent me if you open the box you can literally smell them straight away they smell amazing um, yeah so the ones that Charlie sent me are I don't know where they're from it just says scented wax cubes nat natural soy wax fragrance embrace your life so I'm not sure what the brand is um, but we have got Earl Grey and these ones are like little bars that you can like I think you can snap them and like use one at a time or something um, so yeah we've got Earl Grey we have got Bamboo Forest we've then got Pure Cotton and then the one that I think is probably going to be my favourite from what I can smell is Nectarine Blossom and Honey and it's also bright pink and it smells really nice. So I now have plenty of wax melts to be burning and yeah, really excited to start burning them and probably develop a new obsession with wax melts as well as candles, which <laughs> is probably not gonna be very good because I'll then want to buy more wax melts. But so yeah, really looking forward to burning those ones to start with. And then the last presents that I want to show you for this video were from my friend Sarah. She's one of my oldest friends and it was actually a joint birthday and Christmas present that she sent over. And again, I think she'd obviously been going through my Amazon wish list because she sent me a whole load of Disney DVDs, which I was so excited to open. Um, so I collect like the Disney classic DVDs, which are like the... 50 however many of them there are now um disney sort of classics in the shiny uh what do you call it like shiny casing and also the pixar ones but i've also started to want to try and get some of the other disney dvds because there's so many out there um and so i had a list on my amazon like wish lists um of different disney dvds that i was trying to get and yeah she's obviously gone through that and got quite a few of them so we have got uh Winnie the Pooh, the Heffalump movie, which I haven't watched for years. Um, I remember watching this when I was a lot younger um, and I haven't watched it, as I said, for a long, long time. I'm really looking forward to introducing Noah and Maisie when we can as well to some of these DVDs because I think they'll really like them as well. So yeah, we've got the Heffalump movie. 
We have then got Piglet's Big Movie. Again, I think I watched this years ago. I can't really remember, so I'm looking forward to reacquainting myself with all these. Um, and then the Tigger movie, which I definitely did watch years ago, but definitely need to watch again now because it's been it's been quite a while since I've watched this, um, and I love Tigger. So I've got that one. I've then got Pete's Dragon, the uh, live action one, which I haven't actually seen yet. Um, I don't think I saw it. I can't remember whether it came out in cinemas or whether it was straight to DVD, but um, yeah, I've never seen that one, so that'll be a nice one to watch. We have then got Frank and Weenie, which is again another one I don't think I've seen and I don't know, maybe I'll save that one for like when Halloween comes round so that I can have a spooky thing to watch. But yeah, looking forward to that one. Uh, we've then got A Wrinkle in Time, which is another one that I haven't seen, so I've got plenty here to watch that I've never seen before. Um, it's got Oprah Winfrey, Reese Witherspoon, uh, do I recognise anyone else? Mindy Carling, Storm Reid, um, and yeah, I don't quite know what it's all about. Based on the timeless classic and filled with spectacle, warmth and heart, this celebrated film follows an ordinary girl's epic adventure and brave journey home with the ultimate triumph of love. I mean, if it's Disney, I'm sure I'll like it. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that one. She then also gave me Oz the Great and Powerful, which is another one that I haven't seen. Um, I assume that it's based on The Wizard of Oz. Um, it's from the director of the Spider-Man trilogy, apparently. So yeah, another one that I'm intrigued to see what it's like. There's so many that I've not seen and I'm really looking forward to seeing them all. And then we've also got The Lion King 3, Akuna Matata, which again, I haven't seen. I've only seen like the original Lion King. I haven't seen the second or the third one. So we'll be very interested to watch them. A lot of these are on um, Disney Plus as well, I think, but I just, I don't know, I really like having like physical copies of DVDs. I'm a bit old school like that. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to watching some of these. And as I said, showing them to Noah and then Maisie when we can see her again. Um, yeah, got a lot to keep me going. So thank you very much to Sarah for my Christmas and birthday present. So that is all of the Christmas presents that I am going to show you today. As I said, if you haven't seen the one that you gave me in this video, it does not mean that I didn't like it. I was just so grateful for everything that people sent me and just the thought, the fact that you thought of me at Christmas time was, was enough. So thank you to anybody that sent something and I hope you have enjoyed seeing some of the presents that I got for Christmas. If you have enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more from me, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the notification bell. That means you'll get notified every time I upload a video so you don't miss anything. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you got for Christmas, whether you like any of the things that I've shown or whether there's other things that you think I might like that I haven't included that you've kind of thought, oh, if she likes that, she might like that. So yeah, let me know all of those kind of things and also just let me know how you're getting on at the moment how you're coping with everything that's going on in the world do let me know and we can have a nice chat in the comments also come and follow me on social media my links are in the description below but i'll put my instagram and twitter up here those are the two platforms that i'm mainly on so do come over and say hello leave me a comment or a message i am replying to comments and messages as quickly as i can it just depends on how my health is and what that allows me to do um, but i really really appreciate every comment and message that i'm left so yeah it'd be lovely to hear from you and I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye.